Hi friends. I have a fun book to read you all today. It's called Zach's Alligator Goes to School. I hope you enjoy. Zach rode the school bus with his best friend, Turk. Did you bring Bridget for show and tell? Asked Turk. Yes, said Zach. She's here in my pocket. You brought a girl for show and tell, asked Buster. A girl alligator, said Jack, and she grows, said Turk. That wasn't very kind. Sure, said Buster. What does she grow, roses? Buster laughed. You will see, said Turk. Buster reached into the big box on his lap. This is my show and tell, he said. Negatron is the greatest robot in the whole world. He can do amazing things. So can Bridget, said Zack. When they got to school, everyone ran to the bus. Show and tell will begin, said Miss Pickles. Let me go first, said Buster. Go ahead, Buster, said Miss Pickles. This is Negatron, said Buster. Negatron can walk, run, and shoot colored beams from his ray pack. Watch. Click, buzz, click, click. Negatron did not work. He look, how does he look right now? What does his face show you? I think that Buster is feeling frustrated. It's, there we go. It's probably just a loose screw, Buster said. Everybody laughed. Maybe it needs new batteries, said Miss Pickles. Buster sat down. Who's next? asked Miss Pickles. Zack? Zack pulled out a keychain from his pocket. This is Bridget, he said. Right here. It's just a dumb keychain, said Buster. He tried to grab Bridget but he knocked her out of Zack's hand. Splash! Bridget landed in the aquarium. Oh no! That was not kind. Now watch this, said Turk. Bridget began to grow larger and larger and larger. My goodness, cried a Miss Pickles. Oh, said Bridget, this feels great. So that teeny tiny alligator on the keychain turned into a big, big alligator. Wow, said Sam, a crocodile? Bridget jumped up. I beg your pardon, she said. I am a gator. A gator from the glades. And she means from, uh, she's from the Everglades in Florida. Where did you get her? Asked Becky. From my Uncle Jim, said Jack. He lives in the Everglades. She is alive, said Miss Pickles. Look at Miss Pickles' face. What do you think she feels right now? I think she feels surprised. 
may be scared. Does she bite? asked Becky. Sometimes, said Bridget. I want one like her, said Amy. Me too, said Becky. Hey, Zach, said Bridget. Is this school? Yes, said Zach, and these are my friends. Pleased to meet you, said Bridget. She began to sing, I feel great. Alligator great. Just then, Buster dropped Negatron. The robot began to match, march across the room. Don't worry, said Bridget. I will get that monster. No, shouted Buster. What do you think Bridget will do? But Bridget did not stop. Watch out, cried Mrs. Pickles. The class moved out of the way. Come on, Bridget, said Turk. Where did he go, cried Bridget. Over here, said Amy. Looks like they're making a big mess of Miss Pickles' classroom. Bridget grabbed Negatron and said, Got you. You won't whir around here anymore. Click, buzz, click, click. The Negatron stopped. Oh no, what happened? Give me that, said Buster. What's the magic word? asked Bridget. Please, he said. I did not want that thing anyway, said Bridget. Suddenly, she saw a dinosaur balloon. Cousin, she shouted. It's good to see you. As Bridget ran to the dinosaur, she stepped on Amy's skateboard. Whee, she yelled. This is fun. Stop, cried Miss Pickles. Bridget went too fast. Crash! She knocked over the ant farm and bumped into the radio. Ants crawled out. Music played. Ugh, said Bridget. I hate ants, but I love music. This has gone far enough, said Miss Pickles. I'm getting the principal. Bridget jumped back on the skateboard. Wait, said Amy, put these on. Amy helped Bridget put on a helmet, knee pads, and elbow pads. There, said Amy, now you are ready. Bridget skated over to the dinosaur. Let's dance, she said. Bridget whirled and twirled the dinosaur around the room. You are so light on your feet, she said. Is the dinosaur real? I don't know. What do you think? But Bridget whirled and twirled the dinosaur too hard. Whoosh! It flew across the room and crashed into Buster. Oh no, cried Bridget. What have I done to you? Don't worry, said Becky. You just knocked the air out of him. Then Bridget saw something else. What is this? She asked. It is a map, said Jack. Here is where we live, and here are the Everglades. That does not look like home, said Bridget. It's too small and dry, and there are no fish or snakes. Jack said, but this is not really.
Just then, Nancy threw her basketball to Bridget. Yes, she said. Bridget caught the ball and threw it back. This is fun, said Bridget, and she sang. I can do anything, and I mean anything. Suddenly, Bridget stopped. I'm thirsty, she said. Zach gave her some orange juice. Then Bridget ate Zach's sandwich. Meatloaf specials, she said. My favorite. Bridget ate all of Zach's lunch, even the pickles and bananas. That was a nice snack, she said. Then Turk gave Bridget his tuna sandwich. Amy gave Bridget her peanut butter sandwich. Even Buster said, here, you can have mine. Delicious, she said. She's eating all of their lunches. They won't have anything to eat. Let's play with my detective set, said Turk. I can take your footprints. Press your feet down on this ink pad. Now press them down on the paper. When Bridget picked up her feet, there were two large prints. Ooh, this is fun, she said. Let's do my two other feet. That tickles, said Bridget. Now Turk had four prints, but the last two prints were smaller. She is shrinking, said Turk. I know, said Zach. Bridget danced over to Amy's desk and sang, Oh, I'm a gator from the glades. I love snakes and slugs. I love alligator hugs. Bridget was becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. She needs water, said Zach. Just then, Miss Pickles came back with the principal, Mr. Turnip. What's all this I hear about an alligator? asked Mr. Turnip. The children ran to their seats. Oh no, do you think they're in trouble? Goodbye, Bridget, Amy said softly and passed Bridget to Becky. May I see that? asked Mr. Turnip. Becky held up Bridget. This belongs to Zach, said Becky. It's only a keychain, Miss Pickles, said Mr. Turnip. Oh, no, it isn't, said Miss Pickles. But Mr. Turnip left. Becky passed Bridget to Buster. Bridget smiled at Buster and Buster smiled back. He gave Bridget to Turk. It's been fun, Bridget, Turk said, and he gave Bridget to Zach. Bridget looked up at Zach. I did it all, she said. Now I'm sleepy. I know, said Zach. Sleep tight. Will you water me again soon? Asked Bridget. Yes, said Zach. See you later, alligator. Bridget smiled and went to sleep. She's so tiny now. The end. That's why it's really important for us to be mindful in our classroom because sometimes we can get kind of crazy like Bridget. So it's important that we practice those deep breaths and we stay focused in the classroom. Bye friends, I hope you enjoyed this book.